Hello, uh, welcome to a video. The weather here in the UK is absolutely wonderful. After days and days of rain and wind and uh, and misery because you can't go out and you know do anything, we've suddenly got the most beautiful summer's day um, in October. <laughs> uh, I'll. I'll I'll do the video and then I'll show you outside just how nice it is because it's worth worth seeing. I hope you're all well. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm firstly going to talk about the new samples of tobacco that Chris Parry has sent me. Then I'll show you some of the other the yabo I've been I've been given, which I've unboxed from Ron and Nate. Um, so let's start off with the Black Swan. Here's the web address, the email, the Black Swan Shop, a wonderful tobacconist in the UK run by Chris Parry. He's been given, again, from a manufacturer that's top secret, um, a, se a selection of samples which he's dished out to people on the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club for sampling. Um, and feedback because I guess you know he well they want to know if they're any good or not much like we did a few months ago with the Gowith Hogarth Sam Gowith tobaccos which were just unbelievable nothing was going to live up to <coughs> those samples that we were given you know the black bourbon flake the Latakia uh, curly cut you know that what a selection of tobaccos um, and with that in mind you know we've got to think about these four which are very very similar in appearance and in their smoke I've had a bowl of each and I'm I'm struggling if I'm honest and and they're all nice tobaccos and I don't mind smoking any of them this sounds very ungrateful but I'm struggling to find the appeal of, I guess, the differences between them because they're all the same ballpark type mixtures. That's, yeah, I think that's fair. That's the first one. Slightly smoky, um, quite pleasant. Uh, the second one, obviously, you can see larger strands of tobacco, um, a lot more darker leaf. Third is very kind of similar to the first, and the fourth, which I'm smoking now, has some kind of smoky elements, but uh, none of these tobaccos, in my personal view, and other people might disagree, are different enough to be appealing to the market at the moment and I'd say an, an example of this is Cup of Joes <clears throat> they came out with their new um, fantastic selection of uh, Bigfoot tobaccos and immediately they sold out of the flakes and there's only two out of the I don't know eight tobaccos that they released only two of them were flakes and they just sold out straight away. So if if I was going to produce a new tobacco for the market, which is flooded with long cut kind of mixtures, similar to that, the last thing I'd want to do is introduce four new mixtures, which are just the same as pretty much 80% of the tobacco that's available. Um, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. As standalone tobaccos, these are all very, very smokable and nice mixtures, but not different enough from each other and what's currently out there to be appealing, I think. That's my opinion. Um, and that's, yes, sounds very ungrateful but <clears throat> it's honest um, 
Another example was Cup of Joe's 23rd anniversary pipe tobacco was released and it's a crumble cake, a vapour crumble cake. I mean, that is just absolutely perfect, isn't it? It's very different. It's good quality. It's, it was made by Sutliff. Um, and I think the UK market needs at the moment, because they've lost quite a few, plugs and crumble cakes. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Um, there's a fly. Get out. Well, they're back now, aren't they? Um, so uh, that's my take on it anyway, right or wrong. Uh, nice tobaccos, but probably not something I'd be purchasing regularly, uh, Chris. But thank you, as always, for your generosity and your friendship. And you do run an excellent, excellent tobacconist with a, a wonderful selection of different tobaccos, pipes, snuffs, rolling tobacco. Um, and all the sundries that go with it. So there you go, Black Swan um, Tobacconist. What else has been going on? Well, <clears throat> I received one box from Ron, which arrived today. It went from Iowa, and it was supposed to come to the UK, and it went straight to Rio de Janeiro. So it's been on holiday, um, it was picked up in uh, Rio, and um, doesn't say anything on there. It just said, "Yeah." Basically, it went to Rio for no reason, and then has been sent back to the UK. It was where, not back, sent to the UK, which was where it was supposed to go to in the first place. <laughs> So from uh, Iowa to Brazil, from Brazil to the UK, it's been on holiday um, and it had a wonderful time and it's arrived now and I've picked up <coughs> some tins, five tins all in all, of Squadron Leader with Perique. Now we can get Squadron Leader over here but we can't get this because it's a you know, a, uh, a smoking pipes exclusive, it would be, wouldn't it? Getting a bit fed up with them, their monopoly on everything. Um, rightly or wrongly. Uh, yeah, things seem to be, you know, special editions and things like that that they seem to get. Another example was the, um, the uh, McBaron plug, the old dark fired plug. Can only get that through smoking pipes, and now you could only get this through smoking pipes, but there you go. Picked up five tins. Thank you so much, Ron. Um, excellent, excellent. I'm going to sell her those. I have got another tin, but I do love Squadron Leader, and I do like Perique. Um, excellent English blend with some Perique. Sell her it away. Just two, three years. Um, and then you're going to be rewarded with an excellent tobacco. The next package that arrived was from my good friend Nate. And a surprise gift. A surprise gift. Which, thank you so much Nate. He sent me a Trinidad. Edition Limitada 2016. Um, if you've had one of these, you probably know how good they are. If you haven't had one, then these have got an excellent, excellent reputation for just quality of the smoke, the taste. Like a little uh, cut-off pigtail cap on there. I'm going to really enjoy this, Nate. Thank you. I know this is one of your favourite cigars of all time. Um, so very, very much looking forward to this Trinidad. Um, thank you. Also in the package, and I'll just put this back very, very carefully. That's going to go in the humidor in a minute to rest. 
Um, I picked up some tins. Picked up a tin of Tilbury from the last Esoterica drop. Haven't seen that around for a little while, so it's good to get another tin. I've only got a, one more, I think, in the cellar. Um, this is excellent, and what a selection of um, Virginias. And I do like vapours, so excellent tobacco. Dunbar. Uh, picked up a tin of Dorchester. Got some nice uh, Louisiana Perique. Good Virginias again. Excellent tobacco. And last but not least, all ready for Christmas, a tin of Balkan Sobrani. You can't have enough Balkan Sobrani. It's just what a tobacco from probably now till February. Um, I just, I love Balkan Sobrani. What a tobacco. The other thing I picked up um, in this little humidifying pack, some foundation cigars. Now, <clears throat> I only started learning about them in the last year. And uh, my friend is the owner, um, Nick, on Facebook. Again, we've never met, but <laughs> he's, a f he's a Facebook friend, I think, uh, is what it's called. So I've picked up some of his cigars. Uh, Charter Oak, which is that one. I do like them in Maduro. Nice dark wrapper, very tasty. Picked up a few of those. That's another one. I have one today actually, uh, and that one. I did pick one a uh, Connecticut um, Petit Corona as well. Uh, that one, Charter Oak. Um, I'm not going to say the name of these, but I've picked up the Wise Man, that one. Um, Corona Gorda. That's a lovely, beautifully made cigar. Smells wonderful. And um, I've picked up in Maduro, which is the red band. Which is that one. Yeah, that one. And last but not least, which I've been wanting to try for quite a while, is the Tabernacle. If I can get it out. <coughs> yeah, the Tabernacle. That one. Yeah, what do you think? Very, very good reputation. Not widely available, especially here in the UK. Well, I don't think you can get them. Um, but they're getting bigger and bigger, Foundation Cigars. Oh, yeah, that smells really good. Really, really good. It's like a dark coffee type of um, dark, it would be a dark chocolate coffee type of uh, taste. When I say that, it's not like a sweetie or a cup of coffee. You just get the hint of it in the background. Um, you know, people think they're going to smoke a, a flavour of uh, coffee and chocolate. It's not at all, really. You just get the hints of it. Well, there we are. That's it, really. I'm going to go outside. Uh, I'll show you quickly how nice the weather is. It's coming up to 15 minutes, so before I get cut off, here we go. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful weather here in the UK. You can't beat that, can you? I wish you all have a really good day. Take it easy, enjoy your pipes and your chewing tobacco and your snuff and things, and I'll see you soon. All the best. Cheers.